it, this is natural in this this younger generation. Mm. People just love seeing them smile, looking at them interact with each other, the other with the other athletes from other countries. You know, they're all it's they're all part of this great community where they just love doing what they do and they love celebrating each other's success. And people feel for that and they really embrace that. It's great for our social fabric around the world yeah. to see these athletes, yes, beating tooth and nail with each other to try to win medals, but at the end of the day, they're all colleagues and they're all doing this for the love of uh, the love of sport they have stronger personalities and uh, i think maybe even their teams and even team management encourages them to interact well with their followers and their fans mm. and so we are seeing very diverse personalities among them and some mm. are very cooperative some are very mild and, and you know supportive for the media, but some are kind of blunt. And the public is now is indeed uh, stakeholders in Chinese sports. Yeah. Not like in the past, you know, 1980s and 90s. Uh, they watched sports and they got inspired, do well or better in their own businesses. But now it's different. It's sports, national sports, or international representatives, and also professional sports on the ground. They are part of the public yeah, life. Yeah.